something that's uh, got a lot of hype behind it guys and it is the Nord or Nord or Jord RDA guys by Atom Vapes guys not the box is here that's the box and let me tell you guys a lot of hype but uh, hmm let's get down to the unboxing guys and let's discuss it see you down there Okay guys, now we're down here with the Nord RDA or Jord, I pronounce it with the J silent, the Nord RDA guys. And on the side you have the contents which is one Nord RDA, one times air blade, one times 810 Altum drip tip, one times spare o-ring set, one times screwdriver, one times user manual and two times post screws guys. Now at the back, you just have some, I uh, have some juicy juice fingerprints on here. You just have a story about the Atom and the Nord RDA and a story about the Airblades and some legal stuff, guys. Now at the side here, Airblades Tech with the QR code and a scratch and check up top here, guys. Now let's open this up and see what's inside. Now you do have the sleeve here, like all of the vape stuff that comes in nowadays comes in the same configuration with the sleeve and the hard box now, as you can see atom vapes guys really nice box 100 percent organic design now, i do think they mean the box and not the vape or rda itself designed and engineered in the uk guys now recycling logo there some contact information and the logo of atom vapes at the bottom and at the top guys now let's open this up and firstly, you can see you have your star of the show, which is the Nord RDA, guys. So let's leave that aside here. And let's see what's in here. Now you do get, as you as I mentioned, that extra post screws, O-rings, and a screwdriver, guys. And under this, you get a manual, guys. And that's about it. Now these are better suited for vertical coils, guys. And that's basically what this RDA is for. But before we go on, let's get a few, few size or measurements, guys. Let's just make sure this is close nicely, guys. Now, so a few sizes first. Now, from 510 from drip tip to positive pin, you're looking at 24 millimeters, um, 41 millimeters, guys, sorry, and 24 millimeters in width, guys. Now, Let's just do our inside bore of the catch cup, which is catch cup is 17 millimeters, guys, and your chimney is let's just sorry, your chimney is say 14 and a half millimeters, guys, and that catch cup again say 17 millimeters guys now this drip tip here is a 10 wide board drip tip and it's really 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 comfortable on the mouth guys really comfortable drip tip now at the bottom i don't think not sure if you can pick this up it does say nord rda atom vapes uk by morton owen norway and just a signature down there guys now, as you can see, that positive pin is protruding more than enough, guys, with your peak insulator around it, guys, but not protruding. Now, let's just put this onto a bowl stand, and let's open this up and discuss it, guys. But before we do that, let's have a look at this airflow right here. Now, you have three rings, three holes on three sides of the actual chamber, guys. So, nine holes all together. And you have the Nord engraved right there, guys. Now let's open this up. As you can see, you have your air blades in there. Now this is said to reduce the actual airflow, but we will 
discuss that when we take it up top. Now this is made by Chinook, it's a different company and it's, uh, I have heard that they do make other designs of air blades as well guys. Now your chamber here, you know, you probably can't really see this because it is full black but there is quite a lot of doming going here guys and this whole piece here, your chamber section is one piece so you should get pretty decent flavor judging by the doming but we will go into that as well guys a bit later. Now your deck, very interesting looking deck, as you can see off the bat it looks like it is made for vertical coils. Guys, now you can do your horizontal coils, it might be a tad difficult. Here you have the Atom Vapes logo right there guys. And you have June O-rings here, which aren't really the best because I noticed that it catches on the last O-ring if you don't use that O-rings up. Now positive post is on this side with your peak insulator under it guys and your negative post is on this side where you do see the Nord Nord uh, writing guys now your post as you can see nice size post holes with a, a raised portion here or lip to prevent your coil leads from slipping out and your one post hole is at the top and the other one is at the bottom right there guys to accommodate your coils and make it easier for you to actually build guys. Now let's throw a coil in here if I can get it and today I'm using a tri-core fuse clapton guys. I'm just going to take the lead and just give it a slight bend so it'll make it a bit easier to install so basically the coil will look just like that guys. Now let's try and get it in here and let's put in the top first and yeah, actually let's do the bottom first because it should be easier this way let's try and get the bottom in there and we'll get the top in here as well nice just like so just like that now just want to open up this post screw on the top a bit more you don't need to and i just want to stick a coiling rod in here so it doesn't deform my coil when i'm tightening down guys Try and get it as straight as possible. And let's tighten it down just like that, guys. I'm just trying to get it nice and straight without any of the coil or legs slipping out, as you saw, guys. Now, even though the lip is there, your coil legs can still slip out of there, guys. And let me tell you something. Especially if you're using like a beefier coil like me, it's really hard to get them back in there. Now we got them back in there, guys. Now let's slip our coiling rod back into here and center our coil. Now it's slipping out like that all the time. Damn, this is gonna be slightly difficult, guys. Slightly. But not too much now just like that now while holding this lead here i'm just going to tighten down just like that guys and same here and i'm not going to tighten down too tight so i can just try and get my placement first before i go down full torque nice now i just want to stick my coding rod in there so as to try not to deform my coil too much just like that let me hold it just like that guys and let's tighten this down now this slipped out of the post screw so let's just get it back in there position this coil and tighten it down really nicely guys okay now let's do a final position in here and try and get it as center as possible and that looks good right about there guys now let's trim down our leads now let's try and get it as flush as possible so we don't um out or short out against our chamber chimney guys or chamber now remember these aren't recessed and I would like to have seen them recessed so it will make it much easier to actually get your clipper in there and cut it especially with the bottom one 
course now I have to go in opposite direction to try and get a good clip guys just like that now watch your eyes with these ones guys now coil still looking quite good there so let's put it onto a mod now guys and dry fire okay guys now that we've got it onto a mod and i'm using the wismac active guys let's just dry fire this and i have i got it at 30 watts guys and let's pulse to take out those hot spots guys let's get some heat into them strum heat And just give it a bit of a squeeze here guys because I like my cores nice and compact squeeze on this side put more heat and just a strum this way I think this way it will be better for you to see guys and just give it a bit of a strum here couple of hot spots here so let's just strum that guys try and get that heat all across the coil put more strum in here and on this side and let's have a look here guys because now it seems that we are firing nice and even guys without any hot spots so let's have a look at that again Fine, nice and even from the center out without any hot spots, guys. Now let's see. This is oming out at. Just put it back on here. Now this one here is oming out at 0.19, guys. You can see that, which is perfect for the mod I have in mind. Now let's take this off here since we know what it's oming out at guys and let's put it onto the hexon v3 twisted messes edition guys i think this will go awesome or matchy matchy guys now it is on we got it about 40 percent and as you can see very nice and even guys now let's let this cool down and when we come back we'll wick it up wrap it up and see how it waves. See you when we return, guys. Okay, guys, now that the cords have cooled down, let's wake it up. And today we are using some Kendo Vape Cotton, the gold edition, guys, which I've taken a strip out of and just tapered down one end like so. Now we do need a tweezer here, preferably an elbow tweezer, which will make life easier. Now just take your tapered end and straight it down here, guys. Tape it nicely and just get it in there. Uh, just like so guys and then get your elbow tweezer and just get, grab the end If you can just like that and just give it a tug to get it through guys Now just pull through how much you need And just gonna get it right there guys now grab your scissor and just cut off the rest guys now I'm just gonna be very conservative here and just cut it off there and then you will see the reason for that now guys now let's actually fluff this up you do you want to give kendo a good fluffing a good comb guys nice comb out just like that and i think we will just set our first wig we just let's cut it down first somewhere there guys and i think what we'll do is we'll take our first wig and just sit it in there. Just like that, guys. Just like that down there, guys. Now make sure it's nice and straight. Now let's come out of top. Let's give it a firm background so we can come it out nicely, guys. And you just you want to get enough room to stick it in this upper wick well right here guys so let's just get that fluffies out of there let's trim it down to say about there guys now at this stage you want to grab this in this here right here at the edge now let's get it really nice try and get it down there as straight as possible guys 
So you want to get it just like this, guys. So basically, you're going to be looking something like that in terms of cotton, guys. And the whole idea is that you're going to drop right onto this piece here. And it's going to whip the entire cotton. But we will test this out and see how it goes, guys. Now, let's get some juice and throw it in here. And today we're going to be using some Fantasy Mix Mango Grape. And this is the one with no ice, guys. Um, really love this juice guys now I just have added some Alfonso mango to this just to amp up the mango because I like the mango guys from that now let's just get this open and let's drip some on here and let's make sure with Kendo you need to um, like drip and prod so drip a bit and just prod at the cotton to get it in there guys and once it it's in there it's really hard to get to stop picking us unless you don't use up let's just get some at the bottom for this bottom one here and let's just get let that soak up guys get some on the coil in the coil just like that now let's give this a few pulses guys Turn this up to say 40 watts. 41. Just a few pulses to get it in there, guys. To help that juice get in there. And it should actually really literally just happen like if you pulse it a bit, just get that cotton hot, guys. Kendo will actually just absorb really amazing. Literally just pulse it like two second fires just to get it to absorb and you'll see as you can see it's already almost in there guys so I just want to get some in that juice right here just a bit more in there and now I'm just going to leave this to soak in there guys and as you can see, soaked in it pretty good already, guys. So now let's grab a lighter at this point, and we want to just fire the skies and just light it up. So basically, we're going to induce a flame to dissipate any cotton taste, any cotton taste, or most of it, guys. Now remember, for to do this, you need your juice to be your cotton to be wicked up quite well, guys. So let's fire this up and just light it up, guys, just like that and blow it off guys and that should dissipate any or most of the cotton taste guys and if there is any other taste there it should dissipate really really quickly guys now let's just strip some on here and let's see if the principle works guys when we are vaping now firstly how we're going to vape this guys is without the air blades so let's just get it on here the top cap that is and we can only really put it in one place and before actually put the top cap right on guys I just want to juice up this o-rings because I just got a feeling about these o-rings that I might have some trouble so let's just get some juice on there and with that excess cotton I'm just going to wipe it around just like that guys and that should be fine now let's get the top cap on now it can only go one way and let me just have a look at what it's oming out at guys and as you can see it's oming out at 0.19 which should be perfect for something that I have in mind guys now let's change the mod up and let's use the twisted messes edition hexon v3 I think this is awesome man I think this is a good combo together guys it does look good together now Let's just make sure this is on. Let's make sure that's switched in right there. And let's get this to about, say, 30 to 40%. That's all. That should be good. Let's get to 40. That should be good right there, guys. And let's take it up top and see how it vapes. See you up hey, top, guys. guys. back up top here with the uh, Nord or Njord, <laughs> RTA, however you want to say, by Atom Vapes, guys. And... Um, 
And the thing is, and those guys, and I got it sitting on top of the Hexo V3 Twisted Messes Edition, guys. Got that tri core fuse clapton full NI80 coil with 26 gauge cores and a 36 gauge outer wrap. I got it at 40% on the potentiometer, guys. Freshly charged batteries. Let's have a vape and see how it vapes. Now, off the bat, guys, I get a very like slightly restrictive lung pull. And I mean flavor. Let's just get some more juice in here, guys. Now with this uh, that tab bit, this tab bit right here. If you can't see that, that overlap there, it says you can drip directly onto the cotton, and it should wick up the entire wick just like that, guys. Now let's get about ten drops on there. Okay, so I mean, let's see it. Now, yes, you do get juice at the bottom, but it, it takes a long time to get down there, and especially if you're vaping, that bottom wick is not going to get saturated all that much, guys. Seriously, you're going to have slightly dry hit, slightly in my opinion, but let's vape it up, guys. Now guys, flavor production, really bad. For all the hype around this RDA, I, I feel that it should have given me way more than what it's giving me, guys. I can hardly taste any mango in the juice. The only thing I'm getting is the ice. And I, I, can't, I can't taste any mango or grape, and I, re I know this juice, guys. This is one of my favorite flavor profiles, and I've added some mango in here to sweeten it up, so I know how it tastes. And this... I don't know guys, there is no flavor here, I mean, come on, it's decent guys, but I don't know why you go for decent guys, I mean, if you're looking for like 10% of flavor there is here, but I mean guys, come on, come on, for vertical coil, I mean, my Omeo VLS for example, vertical coil, well I get a shit ton of flavor guys, a shit ton, and that's also like a 24 and a half mil device. And yes, this is a single coil, but I expected way more. I mean, with this dome in here and the single piece, I expected way more flavor, guys. Vapor production, amazing, 7 out of 10, but flavor, 4 out of 10, guys. And with this specific coil, my tri core fuse clapped in here, I get amazing flavor because of the heat of the vape. My sweeter juices are amazing here, guys. And I just can't get it with this RDA. Now let's try putting on this air blades, maybe that'll change things around guys. Now let's have a vape. One thing I do notice guys is that I get a very a much more open draw, a much more open draw guys from the with the air with the air blades and it's said to restrict the draw. But in my opinion it's giving me a much more open draw. I think that's because it directs the airflow directly to the coil and there's no swooshing around there. But that's, I, I don't know why, in my opinion, that's what it is, guys. And I think it because it compresses the chamber because it like makes a wall, like closes up the wall around there. It's giving me a bit more like flavor as well, guys. So I can give it like a 5 out of 10 with the air blade. I would consider vaping this RDA with the air blades, guys. And that's the only way I think I'll do it because that's the most flavor I'm getting is with the air blades. Now, this review is possible thanks to Kazo. Um, he's another South African vape reviewer, guys. And he's just giving me this to review. I really appreciate it, Kazo. Thanks a lot, guys. And even though, that, even though he's giving it to me, that wouldn't change my review, guys. It is what it is, guys. I wouldn't recommend you get this. There's better RDAs out there, guys. Now, that's my opinion. And let me know of your opinion down in the comment section below, guys. And hit that like button if you've liked this channel. And subscribe for daily vape reviews. That's Vaping Mofo. Out.